Hey there, my name is Scott Grant. I'm a certified senior advisor and senior home safety specialist at Greg with Grace. You know, the benefits of older adults and people with dementia working puzzles is pretty well understood. So if you're looking for a thoughtful, engaging activity for a loved one with dementia, this is the Gary Bank Wooden Slide Puzzle, which is designed to stimulate memory and cognitive function while providing enjoyable gameplay that even has a physical component. I'd like to thank them for sending me this puzzle today at no charge so that I could share this with you. So let's take a closer look. Inside the box, you've got the puzzle board itself. If you notice, you've got one side's got numbers, the other side has letters. You've got your gameplay cards, you've got an erasable pen and a timer, and then a stand for the cards and the timer. We'll show you that in just a minute. And then of course you got this nice wooden box that you can keep everything in with very easy instructions as well. But I'm gonna show you how to play the game too. Let's get all this over here out of the way. So these are the playing cards, and I like that they use nice, big, plain font, and it's also, it uses bright colors. Some cards have just the word itself, and then these cards are Proverbs cards. Like this one is, one man's blank is another man's treasure. Of course, one man's trash is another man's treasure. For times you're not sure what the actual answer is, these cards are matched. You got eight and eight, so the answer so this proverb on card eight is trash. So they're matched up that way, which is very helpful. You could also even make it like a matching type game where they could match up what goes together like that. And you can check it with the numbers. Because it has all these options, you got different ways you can play with people of differing levels of dementia. People in the earlier stages will probably enjoy the proverbs more. It gives it a little bit of a challenge. And then you've got the timer aspect of it. You can add to it as well. If the timer causes any agitation, my suggestion is to not use it. It's, it's not mandatory for the game. It just adds an extra challenge element. So you have an option like this for somebody if they're in the earlier stages of dementia that wants a little more of a challenge. So let's say that's the card that they chose. One man's trash is another man's treasure. So that's your first element. You've got to guess the actual answer to the proverb. So then once you've gotten that correct, you've got to then find those letters down here to spell the word. So for trash, we'll have to move this over here out of the way, and then we can move our T up here. So next we gotta find our R. Our R is right here. So the person playing the game, in addition to getting just basic cognitive exercise, is also getting physical exercise and working their fine motor skills because of the way they're moving around the puzzle pieces. So then you got A, and then let's see, we got S. So we'll move our S here. And then our H is right there. So then the answer to that one is trash. So then we'll just reset the board. And of course the game will be different every time they play it based on where these pieces get put. So it won't be the same game every time it gets played, which that's another cool feature of it. Okay, so that's the next card. So let's say somebody that's in a more progressed state of dementia that might not be able to answer the questions or if that causes them any kind of frustration, you could then move to this option, which has a picture of the item and the, and the actual spelling of the item itself. So then they can just try to mimic and copy that. Desk starts with D, so we'll find our D. So we'll move this up here. And then our next one is E. This is even a game I could see them playing. The grandkids or great grandkids or other kids that are around would enjoy playing with them. So it's a great way to help have some bonding time as well. S and then her K's over here. So then we've got the word desk. Then on the back, this part is a little more of a free form game. It's got your basic operators. You got plus and minus and equals and the question mark. So you could set up your own flashcards that have little short math problems, or you could actually put them up here. If you'd have to set up a little bit because of the configuration of the board, you have to set it up a little bit backwards, but you can say four plus 10 equals, and then they could find the answer down here. So you could do it that way. If you had a small whiteboard, you could write little math problems for them to work out and answer on here and create your own little number games on the back. But the board itself, everything here is nice and smooth. It's been sanded well. These pieces are all painted and are smooth as well. They are, looks like 
they've got it. They're made of a wooden douth going through there and they feel nice and secure. I wouldn't have any concerns about that. Of course, with anybody with dementia, you always need to keep an eye on them for anything that they might put into their mouth, but these are nice and secure. I don't see any problems with that. They slide in here nice and easy as well. And another use for this is in a group situation, say at a nursing home or um, assisted living center, you could use the cards, spell the word like out on a whiteboard and then have everybody participating, mimic the words. You could even make it like a, a little, almost kind of race kind of game there too. Oh, one other thing I did fail to mention, it does have this card holder that you can use. So if you want to put the cards in there while they're working on it, and it even tilts it back at a little bit of an angle so that they can see it from a sitting position. That's another thoughtful feature. So once the game's finished, place everything right back into the box. That way you've got everything then all put together for next time you're ready to play. So as you can see, playing a game like this one offers different challenges for different levels of dementia, which is a good thing. All the fonts are large and easy to read. They're bright and colorful. The pieces slide around easily. Different levels of gameplay. And it works both the mind and some fine motor exercises as well. So if you're looking for a good, fun activity to play with an elderly person or a person with dementia, I think you'll be very happy with this game. So I hope this has helped. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like or share this video on your favorite social media. Also, I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to the channel for more solutions to the common problems of aging. My name is Scott Grant. I'm a certified senior advisor and senior home safety specialist. Thanks for visiting. Graying with Grace.